Hey folks, um, I wanted to record a video showing a little IoT and augmented reality uh, demo or project that I put together over the weekend. I actually ended up showing it at Google last week at the Silicon Valley Virtual Reality Meetup. It's based on this IoT edge device called a uh, Photon from Particle IO. It's just a little logic board that I put beneath this volumetric display. This is just a grid of LEDs arranged in 8 by 8 by 8 and it allows me to actually display a 3D uh, each pixel is capable of RGB so I can uh, have multicolored display. I just take the photon, slap it into the PCB underneath and so what I'm using is a Project Tango tablet. Maybe turn closer, not really. So you can see on the back, this is a Google Project Tango tablet. It's basically a normal um, tablet, but with uh, it's a running Android, but it has an array of depth sensing cameras on the back. So as I'm scanning around, it's actually building a 3D mesh of the environment. So. I look at the cube and in a future version I hope to automatically recognize the cube but for now I actually have to go in and sorry put myself with this and line myself up for now I manually have to come in and actually tell the tablet where this cube is in space so as you can see on the TV which I'm just mirroring the display you can see this green semi-transparent cube representing the volumetric display and uh, as you can see, as I move the camera around, it still stays anchored to real-world coordinates. Um, and let me back up a little bit and show you something. If I point to the ground and add the cube there, notice that the shadow is correctly anchoring itself against the floor because it recognizes that as a 2D plane this way. If I point up to the wall and put one up here, you'll see that the shadow is correctly anchored on the wall because it recognizes this as a vertical space or any angle actually it's doing a 3d mesh and the normals are what dictate the augmented reality markers orientation as you can see the first cube is still there so i can come to each one of those cubes tap on it on the screen and as you can see on the tv i get a little context menu allowing me to interact with that augmented reality version representing real world objects so, I'm going to hide this one, and hide this one, and again come to this actual cube, and excuse my back as I just try to line myself up to it. And what this allows me to do is, I turn on a lightsaber into my device. So this cylinder with the checker pattern represents a lightsaber that's emanating from the back of my pad. So because it knows its relative position to the volume describing that volumetric display, it's able to compute which LEDs intersect with my lightsaber's beam. And it on board right now, it, uh, the GPU is computing the intensity of blue for each pixel. The closer to the center of the lightsaber's beam, the brighter the blue is. You probably can't see that on the camera, but it actually kind of anti-aliases anti -aliases a little bit, make it a smoother cylinder. Um, and as a result of that, he is building a, th a 3D volume. Uh, it's uh, they're called individual voxels of red, green, blue intensities, and is firing a single UDP packet describing the entire volumes, red, green, blue values, to the photon board. He has a very uh, fast running UDP listener that unpacks that and lights the appropriate LEDs uh, at the proper intensities. Um, the stock one that came with this uh, developer kit, the, the, the Q, was not capable of doing very good uh, red, green, blue ranges. So I rewrote that and actually am allowed now like a 0 to 63 intensity of red, 0 to 32 of sorry, 0 to 31 of uh, greens and of blues. So much more color accurate representations. Anyway, 
If you have any questions or suggestions, I'd love to hear suggestions on other things that I haven't thought about here. Uh, please just uh, leave me a comment. All right. Thanks. Cheers.